Hey everybody, John here from born to go and I apologize for not having published more videos recently. I've been busy kind of doing some things with family and have really been getting back into Kartra and want to make some more videos kind of showing you some of the benefits of it. So in this video, you're going to learn how amazing Kartra is in terms of tracking the analytics and providing you this great unified dashboard of analytics all in one fell swoop in one platform without any mess for tracking codes. But then I'll go and kind of contradict myself and say, why you also need to be adding additional tracking codes into Kartra and finally provide you the installation instructions on how to provide what I believe is the absolute end all be all of tracking script managers called Google Tag Manager. Okay, so there's a lot to get into today. So let's waste no time. And I'll dive right in to my uh, one of my current Kartra dashboards. And this is just a new brand that I'm playing with. I'm not putting a ton of money into this yet. And I'm, I'm mainly using this as a means to uh, understand the platform better and make these instructional videos for you. So in this platform, at, when you first get into Kartra, you'll see this dashboard and it'll show you your sales. It'll show you how your lists are growing or, de or shrinking. It'll show you how your traffic on specific pages is doing. And if you hover over it, it gives you these amazing little uh, overlays of your individual pages. It will also show you here goals. So this is what I really want to focus on for a moment. So goals is what is commonly uh, set up in Google Analytics or in Facebook pixel, you know, tracking and setting up a Facebook retargeting audiences and determining conversions in Facebook advertising and any advertising platform. Uh, the whole goal is to convert your visitors and it's up to you to define what a goal is. Um, here in Kartra, they make it very easy because everything is so integrated. It knows what, what a landing page is and it knows what an opt-in page is and it knows what a thank you page is. And so it's able to kind of intelligently go ahead and track your conversions for you. So for example, I have a um, opt-in page. I think if I right, uh, click on this. Okay, well, all this is is a, a very simple squeeze page to get email addresses. I'm just running some cold Facebook traffic to it. And you can see I've... I've had 92 visitors in the last couple of days. I'm just putting a, a few dollars of ad spend into this for testing purposes. So with 92 visitors, I've achieved 25 goals and you can see what goals it could possibly be. Uh, you've got sales, making purchases, opt-ins or pages. And so let's kind of click on this real quick. Let me get to opt-ins. Obviously a list building uh, form will be an opt-in based form. So you can see here that it already knows that uh, the landing page's goal was to get conversions of, and I'm going to absolutely blur all these names out, I'm not sharing this, but what's great is that even from that dashboard, you can make one click and actually see all the, the folks that have been uh, brought in. Even further from that, you can go into analytics, and this is absolutely bonkers how, how good this is. So when I go into my analytics for my I'm sorry, let me go into lead. I'm in my leads. I'm still getting a little bit of the hang of this. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll go into an individual uh, person here. So I'll go into this uh, guy here. I'll be blurring as much of this out as I need to. But if you go to this log section here, this is where the game totally changes, in my opinion. So what this does is it you can go from the beginning of this person showing up to your um, funnel and you can see every single step that this person took, every single page they saw, every single opt-in that they uh, opted into. It shows you them when they got subscribed to your sequences, when they got tags assigned. And this is an amazing way. If you have tested and if you're nervous about launching a new funnel and you've done as much testing as you think you should, you can go ahead and start running some paid traffic to it because as soon as people start going through the motions, as soon as you get your first opt-in, you can start tracking to make sure that everything is firing on that new email address. Because here's the thing, uh, a lot of what Kartra does is cookie based. And that means that they're kind of putting some, some goodies onto your web browser as you're going through the process. And it needs to do that to track them, especially when they you know leave the page and come back uh, a few hours later, hopefully to buy your stuff. And when you're when you're working on your machine, you're setting it up on your own computer, and then you come back and now you're trying to be in test mode, you have to either clear all your cookies or do all this other mess. And it can be a little bit more difficult to um, ensure that exactly how the tracking is working is correct. So what's great here is that I can go through and I can see when they got tagged, 
what links are. It even tells you not that they just clicked on a link, but it clicked on a tracking link. So I'm doing a few split tests in this funnel I'm setting up, and I'll make a separate video about that. And uh, it shows when emails were sent, even shows when they clicked buttons within emails. I'm trying to see if I don't see any clicks here. It'll even show you when they you know, viewed your sales page, viewed your checkout page, purchased your book uh, or purchased your item, how much they paid and everything after that, which is pretty freaking cool, right? So, um, I mean, if you put this in perspective, like in order, in order to achieve this same level of traceability with like WordPress, you would need, I know that, you know, Drip and some of the more advanced CRMs do as good of a job as they can with this. But what this is doing is it's linking your checkout cart, it's linking your web pages, it's linking kind of your Google Analytics and your CRM, your tagging, everything together. Um, you can do that with other platforms, but it's not as easy. And, and to see it in the seamless view literally clicks away from where you uh, started out your session is a, a huge benefit. So that is some of the benefits of tra tracking in Kartra built in. Let's go back to my dashboard to get some of those email addresses off here. So now let's briefly talk about the downsides or the limitations, I should say, about analytics in Kartra. Okay. So let's assume you are one of the following. You track your, you like to get some traffic from paid sources, right? Like the vast majority of smart online marketers, they know that organic reach can only go so far. And if you want to, if you have a funnel that's converting, especially using Kartra where you can design high converting funnels, you also need to be able to target and send paid traffic to, you know, scale up your business. Right. And so the likes of Facebook, um, Facebook ads is going to come into it. Maybe Pinterest advertising, YouTube advertising, Google AdWords, all that's going to come in there. The downsides, the limitations right now in Kartra, and I'll just be totally upfront with you, is that uh, it doesn't manage tracking scripts the best. I have seen it be managed better, um, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So I'll go into one of my pages. So if you want to advertise with Facebook, you need to install the Pixel. And if you are in WordPress, for example, or in other systems, you can just put the pixel once into the header of your website and be done. And then the pixel will fire every single time on every single page view. Uh, because Kartra is set up to be kind of a bit more siloed and you've got, you've got categories of pages, but each page is kind of its own island in Kartra. You can link them together, obviously, through different means, but it's not like you have a header section of a web page that will apply to multiple. So what you do, if you want to start doing, like installing your pixel, for example, um, you've got this settings section over here and you've got the tracking code section. Now I keep mentioning pixel, pixel is just one example, but you'd also have Google Analytics tracking. You could have, if you want to have other sources like Google Optimize or other, even other tools that need to have a script that runs on every page, um, all those generally are pages that go into tags, which get fired on the loading of web pages. To manage those, you need to put scripts in. And with Kartra, at least as of the recording of this video here in August 2018, you need to do that on every web page. But don't worry, if you have you know a bunch of funnels, it's not that big of a deal. It's a couple of copy and paste actions. But the challenge is, up until I kind of figure this out. Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics didn't really work that well. And the reason was, uh, I come to find out, is because of how the uh, kind of the back end coding of Kartra works. And so when the web page comes in, uh, it was actually creating kind of a syntax error if you were to just copy and paste code directly into the header. There's a very easy fix. And so in this video, I will kind of introduce you to Tag Manager, which is over here. And I'll explain briefly why Tag Manager is so cool and then show you how to install it on your Kartra page, okay? So let me kind of come up here. So a Google Tag Manager is really awesome because it allows you to have a single home that is storing all of your tags. So if you have multiple websites, but you kind of treat them under the same brand, or if you have multiple funnels and you want to track them together or be able to have like kind of synergy where you can uh, monitor the pixel traffic across multiple websites, you don't have to go and, you know, install pixels on multiple websites or multiple different things, you're able to install a single bit of tracking script into the header of your website once. 
And after that is done, you get to manage everything in a very easy to understand. Once you kind of get it, it's one of those things where it kind of clicks one day and you'll understand how it all works and become much easier. And on this YouTube channel, I'll be placing more and more videos showing you how to use Google Tag Manager. Uh, but once you kind of get it, you get it and you can manage all your tags in this secondary tool that doesn't slow down your website. And here is the big benefit if you're kind of big into SEO or you want to uh, just make sure your website loads as fast as possible. What you can get into as you got get into more advanced marketing techniques is you'll have a ton of different tracking scripts on your headers. And so it'll load your pixel code, it'll load your Pinterest code, it'll load your Google code, it'll load your whatever code. And every one of those just takes a little bit of time to load, right? So how what Google Tag Manager does is all it has to do is load a single snippet, one piece of code, and after that, it's going to kind of go on a separate server. So you've got your website and your funnel loading on this server, and it just fires a little trigger. Oh, here I am. I'm a Google Tag Manager script. It's going to go over to Google servers and asynchronously, you know, fancy term there, but asynchronously, it's going to load on its own dime, on its own time, and it's, it'll do its thing while your page loads kind of unobstructed by that additional code that's in the header. I hope that makes sense. So um, I will show you very briefly how to install uh, Google Tag Manager on your website. So you'll see here, uh, if you haven't created an account, you can just go to tagmanager.google.com. And uh, I'll have to blur a lot of this out because I don't want you guys getting into my stuff. But once you're there uh, and you set up a, a very free account and you just kind of put in your URL, you will be given an installation instructions. And you can kind of pull it up here and you can see it'll have two pieces of script to install. You've got a header script and you've got a body script. So what you can do uh, is on a page by page basis, you can install this into your website and I'll show you exactly how that looks. So here you've got your header website in Kartra and here's the big change. So when you first see it, you'll notice that it says script and like backslash script. And that's basically, you know, it's geeky stuff. Don't worry about it. The challenge here is to get it to work in Kartra, you actually remove that opening script. And if I scroll down, you can see here, you remove your closing script. And the reason for that is I believe that Kartra is planning for some good things in the future. And so they're kind of paving the way for that. But until then, I don't want to limit my uh, tracking scripts and I want to be able to have all the power I need. So to fix it, you would take your script like this. You would simply remove, you, you, what you can do is copy and paste it into the header. Just remove the script here, remove the uh, backslash script at the end. And then on the body as well, you can take this, but you can see here, you don't need to do any editing. So you see, it's going to say like no script in the beginning and no script at the end. That can stay just like it is. No problem at all. And so how do you know it's working, right? So let's go ahead and I will put this whole workspace into preview mode. And you'll see it kind of turn up a little orangish. All right, now I'm in preview mode. So I'm going to, I don't want to load this particular page because I don't want it to fire. <laughs> I don't want it to tell me that I've actually you know, made a purchase and whatnot. So I'm going to go back to my dashboard and let me just pull up. So I'll pull up uh, the first step of the funnel and what I like so much, and maybe it's just me being geeky, but I really like having this debug window where whenever you do actions with Google Tag Manager, you can see like very good details about what actually fired whenever you loaded a page. So here you can see, I put my Facebook pixel ID. I put my uh, just a affiliate thing there, Google Analytics, Google Optimize. And I have all these other tags that we can talk about later in a future video. I don't want to make this one too long, but I don't have to add each one of those to every single page of Kartra. I can set it up. I can manage it in Google Tag Manager and on my WordPress blog. I don't have to do any additional work to add those in. If I were to use a different uh, service provider or a different tool as well, it would all work just fine. I can manage it all from within Google Tag Manager. So one thing I want to mention a while we're here, because I saw this, um, some of these buttons down here, I wanted to mention, because you might be thinking, okay, well, all I really do is use um, Facebook pixel, 
or all I really use is one other additional tracking script. So why would I want to go through the effort of installing Google Tag Manager and then having to configure Google Tag Manager with this other script if it's only one? It's a valid point. And if you're super simple with what you're setting up or you don't really want to kind of give yourself that room to grow, that's not going to be too, too bad of a deal. It's not going to be a deal breaker. But here's one of the big ones for me. I like the idea and I like the ability, and let me show you here, where in Google Tag Manager, you have the ability to create tags and um, kind of let, and let me make that in another language that you might understand. So you can add people to custom audiences in Facebook based on if they click on a button. Like, and that, that might not sound too awesome, but it really, really is. So for example, if they clicked on that button, but they don't sign up, you could actually create a, um, so you see down here, you see GTM click. So I have an event, which we'll talk about in a later video, uh, that's listening for any type of click that's get, that gets made on a web page. And you can create any sort of customization, any actions, any um, results from those clicks based on things that you define. That sounds like super geeky, but don't worry about it. Um, so what that allows you to do is, let's say you have a checkout page and you have a couple different buttons. And like I could show you a funnel that I've set up that had to make it very complicated to know how much money people spent based on which pages they've uh, visited. But with the ability of tracking tags based on clicks and based on other actions that users take on your website, you actually have the ability to circumvent a lot of that complexity by simply saying, if they click this button, maybe it's a purchase of $10. Or if they purchase that button, maybe it's a bump offer that goes to 15 And you can manage your ad spend, you can manage your business much more intelligently using nothing but Google Tag Manager and Kartra or any other um, website platform out there. So I know this is, I was a little bit all over the place with this, but that's because there's so much that we can go into with Google Tag Manager. But the key takeaways is installing Google Tag Manager takes just a couple minutes. It gives you the ability to expand and grow your business and your analytics into your business extremely far. And with Kartra right now, you can totally use Google Tag Manager with a small little uh, workaround of removing some of the scripts in the header section of the JavaScript that you get from Google Tag Manager. So I hope this was helpful. If you uh, have any questions about this video or want me to go down a specific path as I myself am getting more proficient in Google Tag Manager, I love to document what I'm learning as I'm learning. It just helps it kind of cement into my own mind. So if you want to learn about how to create certain triggers or how to manage Facebook Pixel and create events and do all this and manage your return on ad spend, anything you want to learn, go ahead and leave a comment in the section below. Uh, if you like this style of video of me just kind of being raw, being out there with you and helping us all learn and grow and grow our businesses, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell to be notified when I make another video, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Take care.